what power they feel Kick It Out have. Uh, as much as I don't believe that Kick It Out or any institution who is just talking about passing legislature or banning people because of racist chanting or slogans can do much about changing the face of racism, only through education and people understanding why they are racist in the first place, only through tackling the cause of racism, not the symptom. And the symptom of racism are the John Terry Suarez, Serbia incidents, they're the symptoms. You can't do nothing about that. What you have to do is you have to look at the cause of racism and then we can do something about changing it. <clears throat> That's my own view. Now, in terms of them not supporting um, wearing the t-shirts, I don't know what power they feel Kick It Out can do or what more they can do. I don't feel Kick It Out can do much in terms of changing racism. However, in terms of the power that they believe Kick It Out has to affect situations, if they're talking specifically about the John Terry situation where, right, you know, that's the, 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 the punishment handed out. Um, Kick It Out can do nothing about the punishment. Kick It Out can do nothing about Chelsea's response. So I don't know why they're necessarily talking, targeting Kick It Out. That's the thing. I mean, you know, how do you kind of stop people from, you know, saying these things? Surely it's just part of society and you hope that people just... You well, know, how you stop it by letting them know, what, trying to explain to them why would they say it in the first place. If you look at the history and the legacy of colonialism and slavery in terms of the way that people are viewed of different colours, then you can understand why people feel a certain way. So to stop, maybe you can't stop this generation because people are set in their ways, but the only way to stop the future generation is to explain to them why they feel the way they do, of what I call unconscious racism. I would never have accused John Terry of being racist, but from an unconscious point of view, as we all have it, I have it, when we see people of different colours, we have an opinion based on what we have been taught wrongly about them. So um, only through education can you change that. So there's no FA, kick it out, governments that can change that. It's only through people changing their own minds. So you don't think we're going to kind of see a, you know, a massive change in, in the recent future? You think players well, if, are people, if we then decide to have a different um, approach to tackling racism, we will see a change. If we just keep on saying, all we've got to do is just ban people and find people and give them 10 game bans, you won't see a change. What will happen is that you won't hear it. But then every now and again, because we thought we got rid of it, when people are then least expecting it, it'll come out as it has. Um, because when an unconscious racist, as I call it, um, is feeling relaxed and comfortable, uh, and he gets into a confrontational situation, as we do with our wives, for example, when we say horrible things to our wives in an argument that we don't actually mean, from an unconscious point of view, that'll always be there. So we have to change that mindset. So I think we can change it, but not if we just keep saying, saying the way around it is to ban people or to find people. So what kind of sanctions do you think people should be kind of picking up for when it's really proved? I'm not interested in whatever sanctions, because that's not going to change a thing. Sanctions isn't going to change racism at all. So the, the, the face of racism is changing, but the reality of racism is still the same. So therefore you're not actually going to hear, as what we heard in Serbia, or what John Terry has said, regularly. We're not going to hear that regularly. However, we can tell that people are still thinking it. How are we going to stop them thinking it? Because the fact that they may not say it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And that's what I'm interested in, in changing.